Hi Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out the person on your mind right now. How do they feel about you currently? To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 22nd of June 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 12... 12.48 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. The person on your mind right now, how do they feel about them? Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I've already moved to a new place. So this is why the setting looks different. I'm still kind of sick. And also I cut my finger. Where is it? Oh, this one. <laughs> cut my finger when I was unpacking uh, this afternoon. But anyway, just uh, please bear with me, okay? My voice sounds a little bit scratchy. <clears throat> All right, so we've got the moon in reverse, king of pentacles. The person in your mind could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, could be a Cancer, any fixed signs, could be an Aries, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be any fire sign as well, Ace of Wands right here, can be any sign, okay? So we've got the moon in reverse, the Fool, and Eight of Swords in reverse here. They feel... The person in your mind right now actually feels kind of good about you, I would say. Because the Nine of Cups here indicates them feeling very contented, happy. Right, The Fool is also a very happy card because there's a sun right here. Feeling happy, feeling... If this is someone you're currently connected to romantically, um, they have this serious crush on you okay because <laughs> the fool can indicate that in two of cups this you know um this this feeling being on top of the world you know having butterflies in, in your stomach but if this is not a if this is not someone you're romantically connected to they just feel really good about you about this connection like hey i meet someone two of cups someone i can get along with somebody who you know, who are on the same page as I am, somebody who shares the same thing with me, same interests. Could also be, you know, if you're romantically connected to this person, they feel like, yeah, there, there is no doubt, the moon here on first, that, you know, fire signs, Leo Aries Sag is the person for me. You're my soulmate, my best friend. Yeah, you're everything that I look for. In a partnership, Nine of Cups, unless it's just a friend, then, you know, everything that I look for in a friendship or a business partner for some of you, right? King of Pentacles, can you get money, career? So again, the person in your mind may not just be a romantic person, right? Someone you're romantically connected to could be a family member, could be a friend, could be um, a person that you work with, can be anybody, okay? So we've got Ace of Wands person on your mind right now feels inspired by you it's there's a really there is a really good energy that i'm sensing here okay feeling very passionate about this connection very passionate about you uh or you know inspired by you because the one can indicate inspiration right something about them feeling that hey this this thing could grow if it, if this is a business partner they could be feeling like this partnership could grow into something, and I'm really excited about that. That's what I'm sensing here, okay? Um, hmm. And then the world here. See, another really feel-good kind of uh, energy I'm getting here, feeling like on top of the world. They feel like, okay, this is it. You're the one. The, the focus is on you. They find you to be very attractive, or that your energy, your vibe is really good. Okay, and the chariot here is the one first. Maybe there's a bit of a, 
how do you say a, a, I wouldn't say a roadblock but maybe it's really new because the fool it's a new sense of feeling so where after the world here the cherry in my voice I after this you know right now at this moment the feeling is good but what happens after that we don't really know so but you know when card is in reverse when cards are in reverse can indicate a delay so um it's it's not that they don't feel that it's going to be successful they feel like okay it's not there yet it's not quite there yet but you know i'm very positive about this six of swords here is in reverse yeah i'm sticking around i'm sticking around to see how this is gonna pan out uh, how this connection or the situation going to pan out for the both of us it's definitely there's a partnership going on right two of cups here two people but they feel like hey we, we're on the same page it's all good yeah this looks like there could be a future and i'm really excited a very exciting card uh feeling i'm getting here so excited for this new beginning i can't wait i can't wait right I have no doubt. I feel good about it. But the moon here in my first, eight of swords in my first, like I don't even have to think about it anymore. It's almost like I don't have to stress. I don't have to think. I'm not stuck. I want to move forward. So, but the only thing that kind of, you know, with the cherry here in my first, the only thing that kind of makes me feel that, um, it's, I don't think this is bad at all, honestly. The cherry in my first, it just hasn't quite happened yet, or it's just, maybe in the very beginning stage uh, of this connection or situation but they're looking forward to it okay and let's see we've got the hangman here so there is a pause right um it's like <laughs> it's also a daydreaming card for me nine of cups the nine of wands and the reason why this is like a pause is like it still hasn't quite happened happened yet again it it's like this person feels this is the beginning the beginning part is always good right <laughs> usually i'm not saying not, not always but usually there's this hope right ace of wands there's this hope that things are gonna work out things are gonna you know how do you say flourish or grow and the king of pentacles is like something very um prosperous right the king of pentacles is a king of money so if this is someone you're connected to uh, financially or uh, career-wise, you know, they, they're they very positive that both of you are going to make a lot of money. But if you're romantically connected to this person, it's a friendship, yeah, they, they feel like this is a very valuable connection that it could, you know, turn into a connection um, that would be stable long-term committed right because king of pentacles is definitely a very committed king not a cups not a wansi another very exciting energy <laughs> i'm actually like still sick but i i could i could feel the excitement here okay um hmm nine of cups it's like yes this is what i've been looking for you're the one i've been searching for or you're the answer to this you are the connection um that I should be connected to because I know I'm not going to be wasting my time. I know there's something very exciting ahead of us, right? Nine of Wands, very, very passionate with you with this connection. Uh, the hangman, like, constantly just dreaming of what's gonna, you know, dreaming about the future, dreaming about, you know, it, it's almost like, okay, this is, this is how, this is how it's gonna be. It's almost, you know, this energy, the moon in my voice, like my intuition is correct. I have no doubt. I'm, you know, obviously, even with the moon in reverse can indicate there may be some doubts, right? Uncertainties. Um, but they are, they are trying to remain positive with the fool here, okay? Six of Wands. I mean, let's pull out a little bit more. Let's see more. Look at the Empress. Look at the Three of Cups. Your person, the person on your mind right now feels good about you. Yeah, feels good about this uh, Three of Cups, this equation. Um, and the Empress here, another growth card. So they feel like, hey, I can 
this connection can grow. I have a lot of faith in it, in you, in you, fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sag, two of wands. See, it could be at some point in time, it's like I'm not 100% sure, six of wands in love us. Could this connection be successful? Could this partnership be successful? Um, but right now, this moment, they are leaning towards more positive feelings, positive outcome with you because three of cups indicate celebration they feel good they feel like they need to celebrate somehow feels like a bit of a they, they feel this is good news this is good news and they're very excited about um this partnership this connection right very good leo aries sash this is your reading i hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Okay, I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.